Right, hello everybody, welcome to Blitzpit uh, Day 2, and we've got Dio versus Dio, but Dio isn't playing. <laughs> 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 um, I'm Jim McMahon, with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello, 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 uh, the JFW's invasion of the Blitzpit Blood Bowl world continues. It's 7 a.m. here, and my coffee isn't ready, so I'm going to spin it right back to Jim for a few minutes. <laughs> All righty, then. Um, found my one weakness on commentary, Jim. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. Um, so, oh, I've just deleted that instead of removing it. That's okay. Um, okay, I'm just going to take a little second here um, to remove some sound effects. No problem, and if you're wondering why, <laughs> we have recently been uh, been uh, governed by American standards on what can and can't be said for auto mods on Twitch, or sorry, on YouTube, and uh, certain words like see you next Tuesday, <laughs> no longer available to Jimmy Fantastic. This is a serious blow to his lexicon, folks. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be really... <laughs> it's gonna be I'm gonna, really awesome. I'm gonna wager that we will get to turn 11 of this game before breaking that rule by accident. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be really hard for me. That's like half of my. That's like half of my. Uh, what's it? What's the word for things that you speak? That's why I, I don't even. I don't see. There you go. I'm fucked. <laughs> right. Ooh. Can I'm say not that. Not gonna even help you out there. Not gonna even help you out because it's funnier. But yeah, that's right. First game, no see you next Tuesday, and it's the fucking Norse. <laughs> yeah, that's the one vocabulary. Half of my vocabulary is that word. And they've put it on the same level as other actually horrific words, which is nonsensical, but there you go. Bunch of... Dirty... <laughs> Dirty player in, gets the Yeti out, but out... Oh, and the bribe is gone. He's got a gone. bribe! I was wondering, so he rostered a bribe in the yeah. same way that we saw someone rostering Glart earlier, huh? Yeah, interesting. So yeah, let's get back to the game. So, <laughs> both sides had 12 players. Um, right, and it is, yeah, there's no Dionysian, there's D Diomed and Dion Lord. <laughs> this is not confusing at all. Well, <laughs> the good news is I don't have to worry about screwing up the coach names between yeah. the players. I was having trouble with that with uh, with the uh, random guy and Mike the Machine for some reason. Yeah, but no. I'm just going to call everyone Dio and we're going to call this one a wash, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> oh. No, cocky. No, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. It might be not so bad in text, um, but I can't say it. For sure. Yeah, that'll be phase two. If you suddenly notice that Jim no longer has a chat overlay in his future <laughs> videos, yeah. that, that's the reason. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. So, yeah, that's a good start in it for uh, Dio. I mean, it doesn't matter which one's which. <laughs> good, st good start for Dio removing two players, including the scary block of Mighty Blow Yeti. Very scary player, yeah. so. But he's gonna get the fouling back here, isn't he? Presumably. No, I guess he's not. He's just he's just trying to guard lock him or whatever. Like player and guard lock him. He hasn't got anyone left to foul him with. Um. Sort of the Norse got pom pom, mighty blown block. Oh god, block guard, block guard, dodge. They seem to have a lot of skills, don't they? These Norse. They do. They must. I mean, again, we can. Uh... You could probably showcase the uh, the team build based on the uh, the tiers for Blitz Pit. Uh, Norse probably on one of those lower tiers to get all those skills, I guess. Yeah, it looks like they're not on the highest tier, doesn't it? Yeah. No, certainly not. No. Uh, Bloody got sleep in my eye here. It's uh, it's not good. I just got up before this started. Let's see, I got it right here, Jim. We've got the Norse. Once Photoshop opens. I don't know why it's trying to open this file, but okay. Uh, yeah, so we've got Norse counting as a tier three. That gives them ten normals and one double. 
Um, wow. So it puts them on the level of uh, Skaven, Camry, Humans, and Bretonians. Whereas Undead, obviously going to be a tier one team, nine normals. That puts this at uh, 1280 for the Undead and 1330 for the Norse. Uh. But of course, you don't get your inducements for the differences in this one. Yeah, so it looks like that bit, uh, bit Gadenic in the ass a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he was eliminated by the Norse, he said, in yeah. chat. <laughs> um, so there you go. <laughs> oh, God, look at that dirty player. Incredible. And the oh, ball was this... pretty unprotected there. Yeah. And uh, the Norse in some big trouble early on. Uh, like this, was, he... this was put in on the body. Yeah, I don't yeah, like him yeah. basing there. I would have rather had him just back a square. It would have been a lot better, I would have thought. Mm, yeah, so... Interesting. Apple used there. And the Necro, what have the Necro got? Block Mighty, Guard, Guard, Guard. Wrestle, Attack, I'm not sure that was... I think, I'm not sure that's a great um, allocation of points. A Rattler, I mean, fair enough, but... Especially with so many dwarves around. Putting two skills on him, maybe a Wrestle would have been better than a Wrestle and a Tackle. A block show hands, so he's really anti elf, isn't he? With a block show hands and the rackle, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking too. I really like rackle ghouls, but again, yeah, not not facing a slate of dwarves. Um, I mean, could be could be handy in this one though. I mean, it's not terrible, it's just that when you yeah. when you've got like guard when it's taking guard away from whites and stuff like that, yeah, fair, it's uh, it's a rough call. <sighs> Yeah, so what happens is, Cocky, right, because the seasons, be, because of the, it's the seasonal redraft thing that in Blood Bowl 2020, that kills Nurgle and Chaos effectively. Because they've got a, they've got a reset to Law TV, and it costs you money to uh, buy back players that have been playing for more than one season. So the seasons and the redrafting and everything like that is going to completely screw Chaos. Now, if there's no seasons in Blood Bowl 3, um then Chaos will still be really good. But, um, no, not in the same tier as Stunties. No, they've just made like five tiers or something for this Blitz Pit, haven't they? Yeah, Blitz Pit special. Sorry, we, you might have crossed wires on that one there. Uh, no, those were just the uh, the build the build options for the Blitz Pit tournament this weekend. Uh, and Natariel, yeah, you probably figured it out by now, but Jimmy's not actually playing. We are casting day two of the Blitz Pit. One minute cash prize tournament uh, run by G'day Nick for our, uh, it's an invitational tournament so a lot of elite coaches in this tournament and uh, yeah it's a double elimination and I believe this is a this is a losers bracket match I've got no idea oh boy we're, we are on the ball with our commentary today folks no oh, yeah must be <laughs> must be because Dio knocked out uh Knocked out Gadenic, so has to be loser's bracket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, Cocky, no, haven't seen those. But uh, people say that Chaos get to choose between Minotaur, Ogre, and Troll Big Guy again, like they used to be able to in the Rubik 4. So that's interesting. Um, oh, Kislev. Oh, God, Necrobotans. I read, I read Norse because it was tier 3, you know, because they were in tier 3. I just thought that you had misunderstood, but I misread. This is a bit early for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that I'm five hours ahead of Skuro, uh, Gorilla Metal even, and uh, yet yeah, this is probably more too early for me than it is too early for him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm usually starting to stir right now, so I was only up like like 45 minutes before normal but it was nice got out got to water all my plants ahead of time <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> and i uh, just waiting on that goddamn coffee to brew. <laughs> uh but yeah so where we stand right now in the blitz pit in the winner's bracket so these are the four teams remaining that have not lost it's andy davo versus wolfbark that's dwarves versus chorfs and kfog versus crucifer man those are some good games uh, no, no, nothing against this one. Uh, K Folk versus Crucifer, Dark Elves versus Chorfs again. Uh, mm -hmm. I would. I, I'm gonna. I can't wait to go back and see that one already. I'm sure that's gonna be a hell of a game. 
Yeah. And then here, of course, we've got Dio, Diomedris versus Neum Lord, Necromantic versus Norris. And then the other loser's bracket match is Purple Chest versus Eliod. That's Chorfs versus Dwarfs. Ah, so you could say that the meta of Blitzpit 7 was Dorf, 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 Dorf. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you got to say farewell to the Dwarves at some point because I don't think there's much future for them in Blood Bowl 2020, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me that question again once I get some coffee in. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, dwarves. No, not the farewell tour at all, Necropotents. It's going to be. We're going to be spending most of our lives living in the Dorfsters' paradise. <laughs> 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 well played. <laughs> Gotta love the. What is that? A Coolio deep cut from the late 90s? Yep. What was the movie? What was the movie that that music video was attached to? It was a Kim Basinger movie. It was Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh fuck, was it? Yeah. Ah oh, damn. Yeah. What movie was it though? Uh, <laughs> no, I can't remember. Ah <laughs> oh, come on, you got the actress right. What's that? Yeah, it's because oh, it's man. Michelle Pfeiffer. Four. <laughs> Remember when Michelle Pfeiffer and Kim Basinger were like the people you would talk about on a daily basis? Well, not a daily basis. But like when you when you were talking about female celebrities, they were like two of those, like them and Kathy Ireland. I feel like were the only three <laughs> I don't know that I ever Ireland. talked about as a as a as a twelve year old or fifteen year old or whatever. But yeah, Kim Basinger was fucking hot as fuck. Yeah, to be fair, I, I might be subbing the word "talked about" for a different. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I don't know what you mean. Uh, yeah, Dangerous Minds. Thank you, Kelsey. Me knows his stuff. Dangerous Minds. Yeah, good call. Good call. Yeah, nine and a half <laughs> weeks. That was a cinematic masterpiece, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know that. I don't know that I've ever actually seen it. I remember thinking about that <laughs> when was I was that, a kid. Was that like was the, was the premise? She was like an inner city school teacher in like a really rough in or like a really rough school. So it was basically the same thing as. Uh, um, what's that movie with uh, the guy? <laughs> Are you the guy? That yeah. really narrows Calcium, it down. Calcium, fill me in here. You know what I'm talking about, <laughs> Lorenzo Lamas. Um, I think it was him. Oh, it's my fuck! I hate the Blood Bowl client. Sometimes I've just been sitting here wondering why no one's doing anything in a one minute tournament. It's because my replay for us. Oh, a movie mine has <laughs> not. They're, they're moving. Um, I was, was, the clock was even sitting at zero, but I was too busy <laughs> trying to make it. <laughs> <laughs> I was a film major too, <laughs> hilariously, but I, I never really cared about like actors and actresses as a, as a general rule. So, mm -hmm. So, like, Tom Berenger, the substitute, like, oh, that's what Calcium says. Uh, that's one of them. Nah, there's, um, oh god, is it? It's not higher learning. Um, or Edward James Old, Ed, Edward James Olmos, or Gary James, Edward James Olmos, I think, is the guy in it. Um, point being, yeah, I don't, I've never really cared about this type of cinema. <laughs> Point being, I've done, I've got no idea what I'm talking about and don't care either. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, Gorilla. Thanks for that. <laughs> Wait, what? What, what did I accidentally say? I've got no idea. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, God, he's re rolled it. Dion Lord, that is fucking rowdy as balls. It paid off, though. I mean, kind of. He still lost his... I guess there's only three turns left. It's not that rowdy. He's only got two turns to defend. And he has got in the way, despite being three players down. Uh, has Diomed played this crappily to not break through? You've got to ask yourself. I don't know. I haven't been watching the game at all. <laughs> Stand and deliver, motherfuckers. <laughs> that's the name of... That's the name of uh, the movie. No, I wasn't, like, making a... I wasn't making like I wasn't like trying to tell the fleshy to get up. <laughs> Stand and deliver, yeah. Edward James Olmos and uh, Lou Diamond Phillips. Oh dear. 1988, Los Angeles high school teacher Jamie Escalante is being hassled by tough students like Angel Guzman, so on and so forth. That's the movie. 
I'm not crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> God's state is revoked. That was what they were going to call a uh, license to kill, you know. They were going to call it license revoked. <laughs> and then Americans were dumb and didn't know what revoked meant, so they changed it to license to kill. <laughs> Yeah, that's why it's also Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, not Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of a different example there. <laughs> Brilliant stuff, See, isn't it? Uh, seeing the tackle get some uh, get some value. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so I don't think there's really any hope for the uh, the Norse here to shut this drive down. No, it's, uh, it's it looks a lot better after turn six than it did before turn six. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're the Norris for next turn, you're happy seeing those uh, spinning stars around the white and the and the werewolf. But yeah, do I say oh, fucked? Um, you can say fuck still. That's just that's just strong. That's strong profanity. Whereas see you next Tuesday is extreme. Profanity. Twat is just is just uh, strong. <laughs> oh, another one die into Opens a skull. Like Accepts it and loses. That's a weird decision, isn't it? I, I would have taken that one because I mean, I guess you don't really need to save one for a one turn in in, in the North situation. I still would, but. You you're gotta probably not pulling that. off a one turn with uh, two fleshies. No, you have to re-roll that because you can't. Yeah. You, you're just losing unless you get a riot. Yeah. That that's just you've you've lost yeah. the touchdown 100 percent after all that's gone. Yeah. I mean, okay, it's not a great spot, and you haven't got much. I mean, I would have gone for the dodge hit on the ball to be honest. I, I was just about to suggest the exact same thing. I feel like if you're willing to one d, I mean, he's got block, but if you're willing to one d into reds, right? No, it would have been a one d into. 1D. Mm. Um, then uh, why not just 4 plus dodge it and try and hit the ball instead? Yeah. Yeah, weird, isn't it? Right, let's see what sound effects I've got. Hope to, please, please, please. That's fine, isn't it? Oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> What's the bell end? I don't think there's, I don't think there's a bad word in that. Um... You can catch like a mongoose though. <laughs> it's one of them. Cocksucker, that's probably alright, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just not the other uh the, the other more uh derogatory Fuck word off. for offending. <laughs> <laughs> for Hilda, I'm stuck under the bench. <laughs> the ginger oh no the ginger God damn it. I He's... mean you can barely hear him say that. We should just spam that and see if this video gets flagged. No, we're not, because I've deleted it. <laughs> Fair enough. God damn it. Ah, fuck off. That's one. Oh my god, oh my god, fuck you. <laughs> prick, prick might have something bad in it, I don't know. I, I'm yeah. sensing a trend in your uh, sound effects here, Jay. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're all right. I think we're all right now. At this point, I would almost consider, yeah, I mean, take your one hit, but I'd almost consider just leaving everyone on the floor. Yeah, I don't think it's point even standing up, I would have left him down. Yeah, like that guy, why is that guy, why is that guy now basing the fleshy? Yeah, well, I mean, he's getting blitzed by a wolf, isn't he? And like, you know, this oh, he's guy's got getting... jump up. he's got jump up on the floor, so he can hit him. Okay, that makes yeah. more sense. <laughs> but he's still getting blitzed by a wolf, isn't he? Like, that's not worth yeah. it. Is it? Yeah, if you, yeah. It? I mean, he's in desperation mode. I feel so. He needs to try and get a removal, but yep. I mean, I'd, yeah, but you, you know, you've got, you've got two chances at your kills. You haven't taken any perms. I mean, well, he took a perm, but he appled it. He hasn't taken any perms. This is just taking a mighty blow hit for no reason, really. What yeah, are you, yeah. Claw what are you doing here? Yeah. What are you doing? Ah. Because uh, Professor Lardy. <laughs> Um, there's a new rule just came out yesterday on uh, on YouTube, whereby they've got um, they've always had strong profanity, which of course I've always clicked that as being what I what is in my videos, um, and strong profanity is stuff like you know swearing and that right, so that's okay. You could still get monetized, but then they brought out a category that was extreme profanity, 
which is um, which covers racist swear words and homophobic swear words and unfortunately they've put my favorite swear word on the same level as those which is completely unfair and an absolute disgrace and I'm not happy about it so that is no longer available to be used so there you go there you go he gets a card oh, completely yep, deserved that's... completely yep. deserved I'm sorry it's it's heartless to say that but yeah, un <laughs> unfortunate turn of events for Dio but Dio getting that really nice Kaz on Dio <laughs> and Dio's really probably going to regret taking that hit in the long run but yep. still a shot here he's going to be down his strength four but if he gets his good KO rolls which he gets half of and he's going to get another shot he's still a very good chance to be able to equalize this. That's Dio, not Dio. <laughs> yeah, look, it's fair enough, isn't it? It's a private platform and they don't want it on there with their advertising things. So that's it. You've got to play by their rules, haven't you? Rock Hard's fine, isn't it? They may be made to sound. They are rock hard tonight. <laughs> Just like my cock. <laughs> <laughs> it's rock hard and it's as thick as Tony's neck. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't know where that came from. That's not a thing I usually say. <laughs> I'm one of the last people to feel like I was, uh, I, I really needed to, like, justify my maleness to anyone <laughs> i feel like we got a we got a little window into what uh mrs Scuro gets to hear <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> sure <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, I think my coffee's done brewing. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! <laughs> exactly, cocky. We can talk about Skuro's knob until the cows come home. Which is, which is, funnily, what happens when <laughs> when Dio's knob gets used. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. Like it's it, they, they, but they're that's it, isn't it? They're an American company applying American standards. It is what it is. But I really don't think it's they should be on the same level as the others. You know, I think that's a mistake. I really do think that's a mistake that they've put that on the same level as the others. No matter, you know, if you think it's sexist or whatever in America, I don't think it's anything like on the level of the other two, but there you go. It's just my opinion. Worth fuck all. I can say that. Whew. Not really. One turn touchdown's really hard, isn't it? In the rain, movement seven, edge three. Whereas Views you can punch expressed things. in this stream are not supported by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> <laughs> you punch things, can you? Yeah, exactly, cocky. So it's it's a shame, isn't it? Big shame. Well, honestly, I think Dio shot himself in the foot sending that guy up. I think, and you know, like okay, it's minute long turns and everything, and he played a lot of blood ball yesterday, and maybe he wasn't thinking straight and everything, but that was. You know he's got a claw mighty with Frenzy. You know you can protect these guys when you've got a team around them. And the, situ the situation probably felt bad because of the way it ended with two one-dice blocks rolling skulls. Um, but the situation for the match was not terrible. Um, <laughs> you can't, no. I mean, maybe you can contextually. But you can't, put, you can't talk about the very tasty uh, British snack. <laughs> Yeah. Did I did I miss here that there is a British snack called the C and X Tuesday? No, it's it's called the F 
word, not the F as in. Herp, derp, fuck. Base, base, base. Uh, this I heard that's fail. just what you call I'm the cigarettes. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, the same one that we use for cigarettes, yeah. But then we add the we add the HBO series Game of Thrones <laughs> to the end of that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's what, um, I mean, that is like, a, I, I won't use the word even because I hate when people do this, but like, that is a, like a, like that's a, it just means a bundle of sticks. Yes. You know, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Of, of Roman der- or of Latin derivative or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it's not, you know. But it is also a sweet as well in England, but yeah, I don't want anyone oh, to really? say it. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know that. And the funny thing is, I don't think I've ever said that on stream and I don't think I've ever said no. the other word on stream either. And never would. <laughs> well, well, you said see you next Tuesday on stream plenty, Jim. Yeah, uh, but I've used that loads because that. that to me isn't isn't anything yeah, like. No, 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 sorry, sorry. Level. I thought you were implying you hadn't, but yeah, you're talking about the F word. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The other coffee, words. coffee, coffee, still hot. Haven't haven't imbibed. <laughs> <laughs> French. <laughs> French. Oh, well, the day they remove French from uh, Twitch and YouTube streaming is the day le plum plum plu ends <laughs> and the stream ends. That's <laughs> basically the funniest joke here. Yeah. <laughs> It's basically the only joke. Here. Yeah. <laughs> well, other than your CCL runs, am I right? Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh! Definitely, my games are games Space Cadet. That's where the real humor lies. <laughs> I played two games of CCL last night, Jim. Two, two in a row. Well done. With two separate undead teams starting a team TV a thousand. That should let you know how it went. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, actually, no. The first one was a draw, but I lost. Uh, I lost the ghoul, and I was like, I didn't have enough money to rebuy him. I was like, why am I gonna just? I'm just gonna restart this team. Yeah, and then the second yeah. one was a fucking glorious, oh near pitch clear. Ooh. <laughs> Instant yeah, re-roll. re-roll. Maybe he shouldn't have done. He got. He got the. Uh, he got the cards, but he's only got two re-rolls. They've got overtime. You know, yeah. maybe. He and his only hope is going overtime right now, so that is. Yeah. I would have done the same thing. I think it's hard not to when you've got that much unactivated on your team. But eesh. I mean, I think he should have swapped the position of the lineman and the yeti and made it a three D with block. Yeah, I agree. And then not bothered about blitzing. You know, just blitzed a blitzed a white with a lino, and then you're not getting frenzy trapped at all. Yeah. Um, what is he? What is he planning to blitz here? Is he going to blitz that white? Yeah, he's, he's gonna blitz the he's gonna blitz the fleshy with his. Uh, oh, the fleshy, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, fleshy makes more sense. But, but he's well. gonna have to follow and then get blocked back yep. by the ghoul. Yep. So I don't like it. <laughs> I, I I agree. So I would not have done that. <laughs> and there you go. So he gets completely screwed. <laughs> All of the bad decisions or the questionable decisions, excuse me. Uh, really being called out by Blood Bowl today. Yeah. Um, a little bit mercilessly, maybe, but uh, you can't. Again, I like if I'm calling you for standing up and then uh, you know risking a player, then you probably deserve to be called out for it. <laughs> 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 Boom. <laughs> because again, well, as we discussed yesterday, I I am the type of Blood Bowl player who kind of prefers to be beaten by the other coaches dice than my own so i'll give every now and then you know i I will give opportunities that are like you know if you're willing to roll the dice then you might get rewarded and hopefully you won't and that's one of those cases where it's just like well you know i would have done you know i I probably wouldn't have done that one (laughs) even though you'd be more likely than me to do it (laughs) yeah yeah i get what you're saying but yeah, no. The second that the second that uh, the second that uh, Ulf went up, I was like, "This is not going to end well for him." No, he could get a foul here. He could get a foul on this uh, jump up right because he could chain these guys away to get mm. a two assist foul. Uh, it's something he might be considering. Oh, he's definitely blitzing him. He is in. He does have the chain direction set up, but unfortunately. Just gets the push, and now we're gonna see the classic Necro Wolf Dodge. 100% that's coming. Or 
Or no, he's thinking he's scared to do it. Dio doesn't do it. And Dio is going to get a free shot on this wolf. Ah, I'm muted. I've just realized I'm muted because I was going to eat at, at White Twix. And I've been talking for ages. But um, <laughs> never mind. Hello to our tour langers. Of course you can ask BB advice. And just imagine I was responding to you before then. Uh, screw off. <laughs> I Doesn't. assume you were agreeing with my assessment and everything. And yes, I was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you were. I know how much you hate when wolves blitz into baseable positions and then... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have blitzed with the wolf. I wouldn't have blitzed with the wolf then because of the danger of being uh, base. Yeah. But of course he did anyway. <laughs> of course well, he did. really wanted to get that claw hit on AV7, Jim. <laughs> That's true. That is invaluable. <laughs> yeah. Although, I mean, in fairness, it was the only, it's his only mighty blow, so I can understand wanting to do that. But yeah, that's uh, definitely, this worked out. Well, he didn't get him, though. Didn't get him. Probably going to see another Yeti Blitz attempt, although this is a mega, <laughs> this is a mega frenzy trap if he takes it. <laughs> He's going to have to put someone around, isn't he, and then Blitz from side um it's not bad is it is it bad no he's got someone there it's fine you can just blitz from around there it would just be a gfi potentially oh you're a ninja you're a ninja with those timeouts jim <laughs> <laughs> not to call attention to it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. i almost did what did he say <laughs> <laughs> I well, didn't blitz the wolf. I, I wouldn't have minded blitzing the wolf. Oh, uh, two langers, you might have to be a little bit more specific with a question like that. Um, what I would recommend, though, is if you go to jimmyfantastic.com or YouTube and search for Jimmy Fantastic, uh, Jim will have uh, a lot of playlists dedicated to different teams in Blood Bowl, uh, enough so that you could probably pick the look of your favorite team and just watch a half dozen videos, including some uh, introductory videos, and then uh, some of his CCL runs to get a better sense of how they play and uh, how a, a guy with a, a, a lot of Blood Bowl experience would build the team as they level up. Well, uh, Gorilla, Gorilla, that was an amazing comment. Thank you very much. But I think you missed one of his lines. His first line was he wants to play halflings. And oh, was... I totally, I did not see halflings. Unfortunately, <laughs> none of None of what I just said will help you. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you do go to jimmyfantastic.com, you will see lots of games that aren't halflings for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, hey, look, if you have fun playing halflings, you can learn the basics and you can watch. Yeah, uh, Sky Blue Monty's a guy who you can watch and you can see how to have fun playing halflings. Yes. Uh, if you're looking to build up a win record, uh, I, that's just not the team to do it on, especially as a new coach. Yeah, yeah, it depends how new you are. Like if you're not, if you're not new to Blood Bowl, then um, then you probably don't need any advice on halflings because it's pretty much just the same. It's just, it's just, you know, it's they're better at certain things and worse at some, certain things. But it's still Blood Bowl, isn't it? So um, it's I, I, I don't know. I don't know if you can trust BB tactics. <laughs> it's pretty outdated, I feel. Or just bad. I would say bad. Well, yeah, well, and bad. But like, I mean, if you're starting from a base of nothing, it's not terrible. But yeah, true, true. It's it's not. It's not going to help you go far if if you care. But again, if you're starting from a point of <laughs> those little stunty. Oh my god! I almost said it. <laughs> <laughs> Those little stunty fucks uh, are hilarious to play, and they die, and I like throwing them, and like it. Then it's not gonna matter. You just have fun with it. Yeah, yeah. And um, <laughs> Inarian, there might be vods of Inarian playing halflings because. Uh, yeah. And I have played Inarian actually. I've played Inarian. I used goblins and I used halflings. I think. Um, I feel like of all the stunty teams, the ones that some of the top coaches, when they do play stunties, they pick are halflings. Um. I think uh, isn't K Fog into into stunty or into flings as well? I don't know. I mean, they, they've got something going for them, haven't they? They get a lot of strength. They get the two the two really big boys, and they get yeah. stars and stuff. But they can like you know the chef, like the things that they've got going for them are 
are just more powerful than the special things that goblins have got going for them. But then goblins being armor seven all rounds it and faster is like huge in it. Like goblins are so on a player versus player, goblins are so much better than halflings. But the special like rules and stuff that halflings get are just more abusive than uh, yeah. goblin ones. Yeah, that's that's a very fair statement. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Um, I played him in friendlies during the beta uh, Necro Impotence. So. And uh, Imperator, to answer your question from above, I don't know, uh, in the last 12 hours, that purse to Nuffle chart that Jim showed at the top of the stream, I think that came out before the 12-hour window, so you might have seen it, but if you haven't, that's probably the most interesting thing uh, that I've seen in the last uh, day. <laughs> In the last 30 minutes since I've woken up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and out goes a fleshy. Yeah. Uh, over time, I mean, it's going to be a little bit reliant on some KO rolls now. Yeah, he's going to get two, bought two rolls at these though, so yeah. I feel like the Kaz on the Ulf is still the biggest thing. Yeah, him. yeah, it absolutely. I mean, absolutely is. But if, if I mean... The Kaz in the old feels a little better if that fleshy stays out. Oh god, mm -hmm. that one D on mighty blow. Yeah. Oh, I think I'd rather dodge that one, Jim. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> and it's it's weird as well. It, I feel like Dio hasn't played this defense very well because he was, you know, he had much better quality players, didn't he? The fact, like, okay, it's still the drive still start at eleven versus eleven. But yeah. He was down this off. I feel like he should have done better on defense. Especially once he'd used a reroll, you know, like all he has to do is try and do every throw, throw stuff at him to make him use a reroll, and then he's looking real good for overtime, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Merci, plim plom plum. <laughs> Thanks to a language. Yeah, that's what I'd say about him. It's uh, halflings are a funny one. But Dio does not seem very concerned about the score here. I'll let you figure out which Dio I mean. <laughs> it seems like Dio is basically going to score unimpeded at this point. But there is still a ton of time on the board. Um, so, you know, it does make a bit of sense for Dio to do his hits, try and get an advantage on the in the midfield, and he can always come back and force a score, giving him a you know a two or three turn try, uh, just because there's only going to be at best four players guarding the ball down near the end. Zone. Yes, exactly. It's all ah oh, brilliant. She has have to lose some games. Ah, she has have to lose some games. Thank you very much, Tua Langers. <laughs> Good luck. Um. Yeah, that's the what 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 was just said there before. But yeah, it's about sculpting the drive, isn't it? That's the thing. Uh, like, it's not about you've got to do something this turn. It's about the whole drive, isn't it? And uh, yeah. And while he did get forward that turn, without removals particularly in this blitz, now the drive isn't looking very yeah. good. For no, Dial. it's almost impossible for him to not score in the next couple turns. I mean, he's probably going to score, but I mean, you know, Necro, Necro, are, are, I mean, he's only got the one wolf, but, you know, Necro can two and three turn with relative ease compared to some teams and for at least a few more months until Blood Bowl 2020 comes out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. I think it's going to be worse for Undead because they're losing, you know, one fourth of, uh, of their ball handling players. Um, no, that's Necro. No. I ne thought it was Undead that we're getting the white change. No, Necro, Necro are the ones with wraiths. Oh, dear lord, that's even worse. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I literally had this crisis of faith. I was, like, looking at all my, my, my Undead Necro minis, and I was like, all right, so... I can I, I can still manage this if I really don't like the no hands I can just play Necro who I prefer playing over Undead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, this is gonna be a leery stall out here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he has to. He has to try and bleed as much clock as he physically can. But yeah. uh, this one is. Uh, this is good. Though. I like this. I, I actually yeah. like this, right? Because. He, he doesn't have to cover the front so much because he can't get the assist on the wolf and he's got blodge. And yeah. then he's even if he hadn't got him, it was still a long way to go to surf this guy. 
even if he hadn't, you know, made the GFIs to get him in. So uh, I, yeah. I do quite like the way Dio handled that, to be honest. Oh, no, I, I yeah, absolutely. I like the defense, but, I mean, it's going to crumble in a turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's still horrible. <laughs> it's <laughs> still horrible, but I thought like, he played that turn very well. Yeah, I think, I think if he scores before turn 15 the Necro are going to be able to answer pretty, pretty, pretty nonchalantly. Yeah. <laughs> and here, he oh just, dear. here we go. He can pick him out. Text to speech. Okay. Actual French. Actual French. Thanks, Cocky. Um, oh, there you go. He gets the fleshy in, the guard, the stand firm. It's all going right for him. Yep. And, uh, I think he just has to want a nine and score, and then just pray for a blitz or something to aid him on defense. Yeah, it's looking really rough for Dio. <laughs> yeah, but Dio's looking pretty good uh, in hindsight. <laughs> Dio's chances have exponentially gone up, while Dio's chances have exponentially dropped. Yeah, and yeah, he's, he is getting the tackler in there. Yep. I think it's worth blocking here with a white because um, because you don't care if you fall over. Whereas if you even if you push him, you get an extra. I guess dodge is fine as well. But the block was two plus, wasn't it? So I think I would have gone for the block. I don't know where he was intending to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe up here. Yeah, maybe he was going to put him up there or something. I don't know. I, 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 I favoured the block just for less chance of it being crap. And what we're going to see here, he's just going to take every block on offer because any removal at this point can only help him. I mean, any removal at any point can only help him. But well, he just he does clear the guy as well here. He has cleared her. Yep. So he can one D blitz the uh, the ghoul, and then one in nine dodge, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I guess the 1D Blitz is better than the 3-plus dodge against tackle. Yep, because it is a 2-plus, isn't yep. it, to, to yep. clear his tackle exactly. as well? Exactly, yeah. And if he powered him, he could have 1D blocked the, uh, the fleshy as well. Yeah. Don't, mm, not, I was going to say I don't like this, but he's got block. Yeah, I, would, yeah, yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I definitely would take this, this hit too. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Dodge with the game dodge. On the line. He's done it. it. Well, he's going back. Oh. I like. I was gonna say I like the dodge back, so that if he fails, you know, yeah. it's in a different spot for. Uh, well, I still expect him to score. But it's, that's something that not many people would do, is it? Most people would just click on the end zone if they were going to score. But that was nice going back if he was going to score. All he's the going way back. back. Oh, boy. Risky business. High risk, high reward, though, if this does work out for him. but Yeah, this is super risky. Especially with yeah. that dodge. But he's got to re-roll it, yeah. Being completely honest, though, I kind of like this. Um, yeah. You know, like, you kind of... You gotta believe Dio has already resigned himself to losing to Dio at this stage. <laughs> so it's like, you know, what's gonna give him what's gonna give him a fighting chance? Obviously scoring will, but if you're a realist, you're gonna look at those numbers, you're gonna look at your, your KO box and say What are my what are my what in my experience in the Blood Bowl world <laughs> is going to happen to me after I score? I'm gonna go for three on my KOs and lose anyway. So <laughs> I yep. might as well. Oh, well, good lord. <laughs> yep, it's all over. Oh, God, here we go. Text to speech. It is a sign of friendship in many cultures. It is not sexual at all. Do not be bothered by the fact you have an erection right now. It has nothing to do with you. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Cocky. <laughs> oh, dear me. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it, isn't it? It's about like match equity, isn't it? That's that's essentially what it is. To uh, let, let's let's be like Dio, um, but I mean that is that is genuinely what it is, isn't it? And it's like yes, getting yeah. a touchdown is good because now you're one one. But if if he's ninety odd percent to score back on you, then it's a bad thing to do, isn't it? 
Yeah. And but now here's the thing, I was gonna say, if he is gonna retreat a little bit, it's not like he got himself perfectly safe anyway. It was there a way for him to have jumped back but stayed within like a double GFI of scoring? Probably not, huh? No, I don't um, think so. No. He's getting rackled either way, though. Yeah, no, I think. I mean, I think he should have scored, but I, I can. I, it's. Yeah. I can see the uh, the logic behind not scoring. Yeah, no, but my point. My point is like now, this was all pretty much written in stone going to happen to him. Yeah. So. If he was going to take the risk, he was going to take a 2D Rackle anyway. He might as well have been in scoring position in case something went wrong for Dio. Then Dio could have still scored. Now he's going to, at best, retrieve the ball and do what? Yeah, but I think it was really hard to be in scoring range. Oh, God. Cannot buy himself a pow. Nope. I've got to say, though, no offense to Dio, it's great to see Norse getting hammered. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, you know, I'm trying to sympathize a little bit. I don't, I don't have a, as much animosity for Norse as you do. In fact, <laughs> I played them for the first time this CCL season, just to try, you know, like a ten game run. Uh, I, I actually kind of enjoyed it. I had one good team and one not so good team. <laughs> mm. But uh, yeah, uh, I, I do, I do agree. Everything is working as intended in terms of uh, armor breaking them. Uh, which is usually my experience watching Norse with Armor 10. <laughs> He's just got to push with the uh, Fleshy, doesn't he? That seems to be the way. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he, he could have blocked with the with the white yeah. and get this guy into assist, but I think it's better pushing him to there and get... Oh, no, then you can't get him in. Oh, no, so it probably was better to push... Yeah. Okay. So now he's got to now he's got to do the hit with the white. See what we're really gearing up here. Oh, I don't like that. Oh. I do not like that. Yeah. Oh, he's going in for the surf, maybe. Yeah, I think so. That's all. I don't know what he's doing now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nor do I. Um, whatever is about to happen, uh, I suddenly, uh, I want to call this one before it happens. I think the Norse are going to get the perfect eight-turn stall out of this. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't this just reek of, of one of those games where that happens, Jim? Yeah, these roll loads of gym pals, to be fair, and that's, that's yeah. really messed up his plans. Yeah, and, oh, and there you go again. Now this wolf. Wolf is going to have to dodge to block the path here. Yeah. And... Uh, we could finally see the wolf. Nope. Oh, he, he greets the block. That's the better way of doing it, maybe. Yeah. Down, down to one reroll. Oh well, that's gonna help though. Oh boy. Is he gonna foul? He could have fouled that guy. I guess it's better to just keep the guy in the way. Huh. Well, oh god, that uh, that wolf is just so useless. Yep. That's a real... Oh, oh, look at that old name, Jim. <laughs> the old <old's> name. <laughs> <laughs> it's spelled differently. <laughs> oh, he rolled a skull. He rolls a 1D. Okay, well, that is going to probably do it for the Norse. Yeah, no probably. Scoring, one scoring threat, maybe three? <laughs> nope, no scoring threats. GG. Uh, uh yeah kind of a kind of a, a rough slow decline for one team dio able to edge out dio to get the win <laughs> oh wow massive nerf to rotters brutal in what way um, um, uh, i see uh, agility Kentucky. three instead of agility uh, sorry agility four agility two instead of agility three Huge. You know what's funny? I Most of my games against Nurgle, I assume they are Agility 2, and I always have a moment where I'm like, fuck, they're Agility 3, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's the same thing with Ulfs. I always think Ulfs are move 4 for some dumb reason. Mm -hmm. and, and then they like run across the board. I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
they've made they've made they've made bloaters. God, which I hate, by the way, for a name even more expensive. Bloaters. <laughs> well, they are called bloaters, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just bloat your team. Yeah, they made them even more expensive. Wow. So Nurgle are completely dead. That's huge are, nerfs to Nurgle. What are bloaters? Are they? I assume they're the the Nurgle warriors. Yeah, Nurgle warriors. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Beastman. Do we know what Plague Ridden is? I uh, like getting players, you know, from Nurgle. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I didn't say that. I didn't say the bad word, did I, Necropotence? Or are you talking about the, uh, the, the... He's talking about Sea Nut. Yeah, Sea Nut, yeah. <laughs> John Sea <C> Nut! <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> um, so very interestingly, Gallo <laughs> just re-rolled to pick up the ball so he could score in a res format. <laughs> I mean, why not? There's no one in scoring range, so he yeah, just did it for yeah, fun. Yeah, fair enough. Maybe there's a, I don't know, maybe maybe there's a record to set for based off of uh, your 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 score differential across multiple seasons or something. <laughs> I don't know. I think he just did it for fun because it was all Yeah, fun. sure, sure. You are allowed there to have fun is. in Blood Bowl sometimes when you... <laughs> it's two rare. Nothing, two nothing to the Necro. Dio, unfortunately, is now eliminated from Blitzbit. But Dio will advance <laughs> in the loser's bracket. Commiserations, Dio. Congratulations, Dio. Good game, folks. Yeah, well played, Dio. And, and well played, Dio. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant performances from Dio and Dio. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, there you go. That was it. That was a match. And uh, there you go. Thanks, Gorilla Metzo. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. We've got more Blitz Pit action coming up, I think. Yep. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>